Hello everyone, it's Chris here and I'm back with another tutorial series. This time we're gonna cover C++ with SFML. And I'm just gonna show you, you know, like I did in the logical tutorials, you know, the basics, how to get things set up and you know I'm gonna cover input, audio networking, stuff like that. Alright, so the first tutorial is gonna, just going to be an introduction. We're going to set up SFML with code blocks. And if you don't have code blocks, um, if you use Visual Studio, um, the process is going to be quite the same. Just, there's just a couple of different things uh, in the IDE, but I, you know, you should be able to figure that out. So just go to Google, and Google SF, uh, SFML, and you just take the first first one you download click download and then you download the version you have if you have a code box you want to take the uh, min g uh, gw uh, code box just download that and unzip you get a zip file and you want to unzip it under or you know just zip it unzip it somewhere on your computer uh, i unzipped it under the code blocks map uh, like this you get that file folder. All right. So just open up code blocks. Alright, so once you've got code blocks opened, uh, you just wanna uh, you you want to link your SFML to the IDE so you can f just, just compile everything uh, e very easily. So you click on settings and compiler and debugger, global compiler settings, and we can start by going under compiler settings and defines. You want to add this SFML underscore dynamic everything in big letters. That's quite important once you uh, yeah when you build stuff. I don't really know why that's important but you'll get weird errors if you don't use it. <coughs> Alright and you also want to link to these libraries. Now as you can see these two Glue32 and OpenGL32 um, are needed uh, because if you want to use OpenGL you will need those two libraries and SFML is built upon OpenGL so they are essential 
Now note that it's first a dash and then an L and then the library name and then it's done. No extension. And these two, we're not going to use these two right now, but you can still link them, so just to have them there. Alright, and then go under search directories and add a add a path to your SFML include folder. So I'm gonna show you where that is. Oh where you say extract your SFML folder and this include folder. Alright. And under linker you wanna link to the library folder, the lib, this one. Alright, that's that. You have set up your SFML to link with the IDE. So, let's just create a new project because there are a couple of more things we need to do. So, uh, yeah. Alright, the first thing. Uh, or not? We we don't have to do that right now. But if you go into your SFML folder under the lib, you will get a lot of files, and the ones you want is SFML graphics, SFML system, and SFML window. Do not take the ones with the D uh, dash D. Um, those are the ones you want to use under debug mode. But I'm just not gonna do it under debug mode for now so uh, debug mode is a bit s is quite a lot slower actually all right so you copy those control C go into the folder where you have your projects and just paste them in the same folder as your CVP file now you're ready to start programming SFML and you will be able to run the application. So I'll save that for the next part. I hope you enjoyed.